Hi friends, welcome back to Mexico. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna start out with a couple of projects that I always have to do when I first return after being gone in the motorhome for six months. Uh, one of them is cleaning up my Quattromoto. Quattromoto is a four wheel ATV. And I had a plumbing problem while I was gone. Um, a pipe in the wall broke in the bathroom. And then the rest of this video is going to be my trail camera uh, mystery. Uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I set up a trail camera in Arizona and we see deer and foxes and javelinas, skunk pigs. <laughs> and uh, we found something here that we can't identify. Set it up a couple of nights actually and uh, got some interesting video. But uh, there's a mystery that uh, none of us can explain. It's an animal we can't identify. Uh, so we'll see that later in the video. But first I'm gonna take you in my red bathroom and show you the plumbing problem. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I had a plumbing problem arise while I was gone. One of the hoses in here, inside the shower wall, blew up, so I've had to remove the tile and redo the plumbing there, and it's all fixed and working fine for now. You want to know what living in Mexico is like? You've got to keep one of those plastic things on your drain or the cockroaches come out. Oh, speaking of, let me show you something else about living in Mexico. Living in Mexico is a continual war with ants. This is a concrete floor covered by tile. But there's no tile here in the bottom of the cupboard. Those are ants. They're leaf cutter ants. And this is like a, their garbage pile after they've finished and weeded out their gardens. They have a lot of debris left over. And this is their dump. They're not coming through the concrete. There's a hole right there. It's an electrical uh, plastic tube that comes up and there's a very little space between the tube and the concrete that's poured. Ant Wars, Bienvenidos de Mexico. Setting up my trail camera to see what goes on in the night around here. First time it got activated at 547 was me out there taking a look at the structure of my carport roof because I might get involved in a roofing project in Arizona next fall. At 556, my neighbor leaves driving down the Pravada. At 6.34, the neighbor comes home. 8.20, that's me out checking for ants. Ant wars, got to check every night. Oh, the motion-activated lights came on in my carport. I have a rule about ants. If I see you, I kill you. You bite me, I kill you all. 8.48, the wind comes up. This happens every evening for about 10 minutes because the lake is a heat sink and when the sun goes down, the heat rises off of the lake and the cool air falls down out of the mountains. You notice it's 80 degrees and then it went to 78 degrees right during that video. 9.06, we have our first visitor. I'm playing this in slow motion now for you so you can get a good look at the skunk that has white on it. 
Three hours later, at 12.05, we have our second visitor. This skunk, however, does not have that white. So I'm wondering if it's a pair, and I think they're living in that big bushy thing there on the right. Quite likely we're going to have some little skunks one of these days soon. Skunk in Spanish is sorio. But that's not the mystery animal that I was talking about. That was another night in another video, and that's still coming. 7.24 this morning. The gardener is taking out my trash. Eight twenty-three. The neighbor's dog Bruno comes over. I think he's looking for something. Oh, I bet he's looking for a spot. Yeah, he knows it's there. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There. Yep, that's the spot. Yeah, that's what gets me up in the morning too. Eight thirty-six. The gardener is watering the lawn with the hose. It used to bother me that he does this. I'd be sitting in the house watching him, thinking, you know, I'm wasting my money. I could just have a sprinkler. But after all of these years, 20 years of never having to mow the lawn, or edge a sidewalk, or trim a bush, or plant a flower, I've decided I do not need to tell him how to do his job. All I need to do is be happy. 9.55, I'm out getting the trail camera to see what we got. And I'm gonna switch to my video camera because the trail camera has no stabilization built into it. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Little baby seeds off of the palms, that's what I'm stepping on there. They're all over the place. Another job that needs to get done, trimming the palms. A lot of dead fronds. It's uh, not something I do myself. I hire a guy to do it, and we have to do it a couple of times a year. And uh, just uh, one of the things about owning palm trees, you gotta take care of them. Cocos. So what do you think went on in the night? I don't know what went on in the night. What? Two skunks were making whoopee. You think? I think. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Well, that was last night, but a couple of nights ago, we got a video of an animal we can't identify. And the tail is all we got of the other thing. And here it is in slow motion. It's not a possum, it's not a skunk, it's not a dog, it's not a cat, it's not a Codal Monday. Uh, some guy said he thought it was a chicken, but those aren't feathers. What do you think it is? Leave a comment down below. The only thing we know for sure is that this is not a chupacabra. This is a chupacabra. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.